Jamaica's art beat, Kingston. The hub of the hustle and the bustle is the ideal place for the adventurous visitor. The activities in this city are unmatched and show a different side of the island, quite unlike those found in Jamaica's tourism capital, Montego Bay. Of all things to do in Kingston, however, visiting Devon House is one of the most iconic. Welcome back to Elite Jamaica, the place you come to learn about Jamaica and the Jamaicans. If it's your first time joining me here, consider subscribing to the channel by clicking that red subscribe button and do remember to turn on notifications by clicking that bell icon so you never miss any of my updates. Devon House went through a series of buying, selling, subdividing and constructing to become the national treasure it is today. King Charles II awarded 600 acres of glebe, which is a piece of land belonging to a clergyman that provided his income. He provided that piece of glebe to reverent zealers. The glebe included the area Devon Pen. A rectory, which is a Church of England owned by a rector, was built on the Devon Pen by the St. Andrew Parish Church and was occupied by the church's rectors for the next 128 years. The rectory was then sold to Jamaica's first black millionaire, George Stiebel, who built Devonos Mansion. Stiebel then sold his mansion to Reginald Melado, but only sold 11 of the 51 acres of land, subdividing the remaining 40 acres to form the roadways Waterloo Road and Devon Road. The next owner of the mansion was Cecile Lindo, a smart and savvy businessman with investments in the alcohol industry. When he died in 1960, his wife Agnes moved to New York, leaving the mansion empty. She was approached by developers in 1965 regarding the sale of the mansion in favor of building condominiums. However, the then Minister of Welfare and Development, the Honorable Edward Siaga, caught wind of this plan to demolish the mansion and purposed in his art that this beautiful house, with such rich history and architecture, could not be removed. So in swift judgment, he placed a restriction on the property under the National Trust Act, which stopped the demolition of the mansion. The National Trust became proprietors and began an extensive and careful restoration process which was led by a well-known English architect, Tom Cannon. With matter of urgency, Devon House was officially opened on January 23rd, 1968 and became an official national monument by the Jamaica National Heritage Trust in 1990. The mansion had visits from royalty since it opened its doors. From Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II in 1983 and in more recent years His Royal Highness Prince Charles of Wales in 2008 and his Royal Highness Prince Harry of Wales in 2012. Apart from its historical and cultural richness, it was deemed Jamaica's first gastronomy center by the Honorable Edmund Bartlett, Minister of Tourism in 2017. The Grand Mansion has not only provided historical significance but is now home to over 20 shops where you can get Jamaican souvenirs, authentic Jamaican cuisine and even a spa as well as the world famous Devon House ice cream. The mansion offers package tours such as a tour of the mansion and a sample of the products from the shops on site. Devon House also offers venue rentals and with its expansive immaculate lawns and picturesque drop backdrops, it's no wonder that the property is a favorite for wedding photos and elegant events. They offer the north, south and east lawns, the east lawns of a multi-purpose gazebo for rental as well as the formal gardens, the mansion itself, and a kid's zone. Devon House has something for everyone. You can spend the entire day at this location and experience it all. History, culture, and food, all with an idyllic backdrop. It's an oasis in the hustle and bustle of Kingston.
you for joining me again guys i really do hope you found this video interesting if so please remember to give it a thumbs up and remember that you can subscribe to elite jamaica by clicking the red subscribe button and turn on notifications by clicking the bell icon so that you never miss any of my updates i am alex bless